transportation to Chengdu, the ancient capital of Sichuan, has not always been straightforward. In fact, there's a line in a poem from the Tang Dynasty that says it's easier to reach heaven than it was to take the roads to Sichuan. For nearly 2,000 years, Chengdu was a key silk production center on the overland trade route from China to Europe, known as the Silk Road. But surrounded by mountainous terrain and 700 kilometers from the ancient capital Xi'an, it was hard to reach. Today, that saying is no longer true. And here at the International Railway Station, an entirely new chapter in the history of trade is being written. Chu Yuan and I are here to investigate. Since 2013, Chengdu has been operating direct freight services to Europe as part of the Belt and Road Initiative. In just over four years, this station, which used to cater only for domestic trains, has now spawned the busiest international terminus in China. And I want to find out how. The X8308 train arriving from Nuremberg might give us some answers. It's almost mind-blowing that this has come from Germany. To reach China, this train has had to travel more than 10,000 kilometers, passing through Germany, Poland, Belarus, Russia and Kazakhstan. This is when the station goes into overdrive. The cargo train carrying 40 containers filled with European consumer goods must be offloaded for customs checks. Last year, the station moved half a million containers. And it's supervisor Wang Gang's job to make sure the operation runs like clockwork. With this automated system, 600 tons of goods can be unloaded in just over an hour. In 2016, about 1.6 billion US dollars worth of goods were moved through the Chengdu Europe rail link. To cope with rising trade volume, the city has become the first in China to adopt a unique security system. So this is not only an electric lock, it's also equipped with GPS, so you can track your order wherever it is. So the most important part of this enormous box is this tiny little one full of electric miracles. This is what makes this entire international trade system work. On arrival, the owners of the goods are alerted while the containers are secured in special trade zones. And this train has brought some high-value items. So cars and loads of them. China is the world's largest auto market. In 2016, more than 28 million cars were sold here. That's nearly twice as many as the European Union. Zheng Chunhuan, a local dealer, is here to take delivery of a new luxury German car. All goods that come via train need to clear international customs. More cars and a greater variety of automobile brands are sold in China than anywhere else in the world. European models are most popular, making up 45% of the import market. 
So the customs officers are just checking over the car. They're verifying that the physical reality that make the model, the spec, matches their paperwork. Before there were direct train services from Europe to Chengdu, cars had to be shipped via coastal cities nearly 1,500 kilometres away. But today, with trains arriving six times a week, it's changing how car dealer Chen Huan runs his business. So how does it benefit the customer? Before the car can be handed over to Chen Huan, there's one final test. Now, this car that's imported must have its engine and also the brakes checked to see if it's fit for China's roads. The car has passed the tests and Chen Huan can deliver it to its new owner. So 2,000 years ago, the Silk Road existed to allow luxury items like silk, spices and tea to be traded between East and West. And we can still see that demand today, but in the shape of luxury cars. And the thirst for this luxury item will keep growing because the number of Chinese people belonging to that upper income group is predicted to go up from 7% to 35% of its population by 2030. <laughs> I want to find out who is driving this demand for luxury cars. Chou Yuan and I head to a driving school to meet 29-year-old Li Li. She spent two months learning how to drive, and today she's being tested. China has more than 280 million drivers on its roads, and more, like Li Li, want to join their ranks. With the number of drivers increasing, it's bumping up car sales in China by over 5% each year. And this is shaping what's moving along the new Europe Chengdu rail link. They're all going very slowly. They put an actual lock on the car's gas pedal. Oh, so you can't, yeah. however hard you press it, no. you can't go anywhere? No, no, mm-mm. Lili is one step closer to owning her European car, which might arrive directly by rail. I'm heading to an ancient pathway to get a sense of what moving goods in and out of mountainous Chengdu would have been like over 2,000 years ago, along the Silk Road. <laughs> <laughs> 